Good evening, CES. Thank you for joining me again. Tonight we are going to read If You Give a Cat a Cupcake. I chose this book because my first graders and I have been reading books by Laura Numeroff this week, so I thought this would be a great way to end the week reading one more book from our author. If You Give a Cat a Cupcake by Laura Numeroff. If you give a cat a cupcake, he will ask for some sprinkles to go with it. When you give him the sprinkles, he might spill some on the floor. Cleaning up will make him hot, so you will give him a bathing suit and take him to the beach. He will want to go in the water and build a sand castle too. Then he will look for seashells. He will find a few other things as well. He will put them in his pail and try to pick it up, but it will be too heavy. He will decide he needs to work out at the gym. First, he will warm up on the treadmill. Then he will lift a weight or two. He might even try a karate class. After the gym, he will want to go to the park. When you get there, he will see the rocks. He will climb as high as he can go. At the top, he will see the lake. He'll want, to, he'll want you to take him rowing. He will be the captain and you will have to row. Then he'll notice the merry-go-round and want to go for a ride. He will want you to go for a ride too. You'll choose the horse with the purple mane and he will get on the whale. The whale will remind him of the science museum. He will ask you to take him there. First, he will find the dinosaurs. Then he will visit the Hall of Apes. When the museum closes, you will be the last to leave. On the way home, you will pass by the beach. You'll help him gather all of his things. Then he will want to race you. When you get home, he will empty the sand from his shoes. He might spill some on the floor. Seeing the sand on the floor will remind him of the sprinkles. He will probably ask you for some. And chances are, if you give him some sprinkles, he will want a cupcake to go with them. The end. Thank you for joining me tonight, but before I leave, I want to give a shout out to a special fourth grade student. Kate Frame has earned 63 scholastic points already this year. Parents who don't know, our students can read books, take tests, and get points. And when they get points, they get prizes, sometimes maybe in their classroom. I have a few prizes, and the PTO awards them with prizes as well. So Kate Frame has done an exceptional job this year, already 63 points, the most I think I've ever seen in the first three to four weeks of school. So encourage your children to read, and they can take tests at school. They can take tests in the library and get those points. I hope you'll have a good night. See you tomorrow, students.